how to use ifttt hi guys welcome back to the channel today i'm showing you around ifttt which is an amazing sales and automation software that you can avail to connect your apps and devices in one way so let's get started what you have to do is just come to ifttt.com and you will land on this platform to get started i have to add my email address or i can sign in with my google account so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up with my google account account and it will just take a second after you sign up for ifttt you will see this page right here now they're asking me to you know kind of connect my different apps that i have already count on my instagram or my spotify twitter or my google calendar or amazon alexa google assistant date and time dropbox so if i want to you know connect any of these to my ifttt it will actually you know allow me to get personal and I will be able to you know get more productive and my workspace will become more efficient so let's just go ahead and connect my google calendar real quick and I'm gonna continue with that and post your tweets to facebook continue so you can see right here that once you sign up for your ifttt they ask me to kind of connect whatever I wanted to for now I have skipped that but you will simply you know add your google calendar or your instagram your gmail or whatever you want to connect to your ifttt and then you will be able to manage them and you will be able to do the automation yourself so you can see this is the kind of the dashboard for ifttt and you will see these different options right here my applets explore developers and create option now create means once you have connected to any of your social media account or any of your other platforms you can actually create your post from here from ifttt without logging into that particular platform so i'm gonna go ahead and click on get more when we click on get more we actually get to the explore page of ifttt so the explore page of ifttt we can actually discover different posts and different platforms from here and i can actually you know check out what is happening for whatever is good for my automation ifttt will give me these suggestions and recommendations and we can actually you know get inspiration from them as well let me show you how i ifttt actually works so when you come to explore you will see all of these different platforms these different posts that you actually get recommendations from ifttt so what happens is that if i click right here so you can see okay google call my device by ifttt so when i click on this one you will see this is the audience for this for example if i want to add this applet to my ifttt what i have to do is just simply click on connect and i will be connected to voip calls so this is pretty good i can just you know go ahead and connect whatever i want to my ifttt and it will give me an idea that how this platform actually works and how i can actually manage it so once i actually clicked on connect and now they're asking me to connect my google account to my ifttt because i am going to connect the google calls and google calendar to my ifttt and once they are connected then i will be able to avail the different options so i'm gonna allow my google voice command to connect to my ifttt there you go guys you saw that it literally takes one second to connect and now my google voice has been connected to my ifttt and now they're asking me to do different settings for now i'm just gonna you know skip this and we're gonna go back so now my google voice has been connected to my ifttt this is how you connect any applet to your ifttt ifttt and you will see all of these recommendations on your explore page so you can actually access your explore from right here or you can click on get more so if i click on my applets here i will be able to see all of these different applets that i have already connected to my ifttt to manage and to automate my business or my sales or my social media management whatever i am doing so when i click on my applets because i have not connected any you are 
are not seeing anything right here but if i had connected something then you will see all of my applets right here once you will connect your applets you will be able to access them from my applets so once you are done with that uh let's get more and let me actually you know connect something so i can show you so let me connect this and we'll create a post on ifttt and let me show you how this actually works so i have connected my google calendar so i'm now i'm gonna click on create once you click on create now what happens is it kind of works as in a way which is if this then that so it looks a little complicated but it's super easy what happens is that i can add three applets at a same time so what's gonna happen is i'm gonna add my first applet and which is gonna be if this for example my first thing is the google calendar right so what's gonna happen is i'm just gonna you know quickly search there it is so i'm gonna connect my google calendar and you will see all of these different options new event added from search any event starts and this any event ends so there is an event that is gonna start so i'm gonna click on this one and you will see that i have to now select from my calendars these are the different calendars that i have on my google calendar right so what's gonna happen is that i have added the calendar time before the event starts so there are four hours so i'm gonna select that and i'm gonna create a trigger for that now what's gonna happen is that i have added that an event is starting from my google docs now the event is related to let's just say it was my maybe my instagram live and maybe an event was starting on instagram so i will add my instagram then that and i will add whatever i want to in here related to that event for example if i wanted to add a trigger that was a trigger right that the event is going to start i added from my google docs the time right now i am creating an event which involves maybe instagram or whatever applet you want to add you can see there are hundreds of options for you available on ifttt that you can actually add so i'm gonna you know go ahead and add maybe my facebook page or an instagram page because what's gonna happen the event will start and i want to add a status or link post to that live when that event will start there will be a post created on my facebook by ifttt without me being you know able to come go back go to my facebook and you know type in and then go to my linkedin maybe go to my instagram and type again and again that my event has started i don't have to do that i will automate all of this process from my ifttt that's basically how ifttt works so i will connect my facebook page to my ifttt and once my event will start the post will be automatically added to my facebook and i can add instagram as well my linkedin my youtube or hundreds of other applets as i want to and it will be all the process will be automated so that's how ifttt works and is super easy once you get you know familiar with ifttt you will actually love it and it is super efficient and very it saves your time and it really helps you get productive and efficient so we're gonna go back for it now this is basically how ifttt works you can actually add as many apps as you want to related to that event if you have something from one app you can connect it to other to your ifttt similarly if i want to you know add my project management softwares for example if i want to add my asana if i want to add google docs my discord dropbox whatever business you are in you can actually you know go ahead and create and manage the post that you want to add if you want to get organized then iftt is your best option so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you are familiar with ifttt and you will be able to use it very easily make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel